Hi, my name is Yatasha Womack, and I'm extremely excited today because Cuban Ambassador Jose Cabanas is here at Blue 1647. We'll go through the sectors that are represented in the portfolio. We have, in transportation, we have 10 of them. Modernized infrastructure to build new highways, etc., railways. Industrial, 16 infrastructure to produce in, in, in Cuba from chemicals to byproducts, medical equipment, textiles. Ambassador Cabanas was invited by Linda Crane of Crane Solutions to come to the city of Chicago and share with audiences his insights into entrepreneurial and business development in the nation of Cuba. Does the Cuban government retain majority ownership and control of all business investments and enterprises? I said before, no. Uh, the, the new legislation provides that it can go from 100% to zero. And I have mentioned, uh, I put some examples where foreign companies retain 100% uh, of, of the property on, on what they, they are investing there. The people come here, do they have a specific project or is they have time in the day to come? Or yeah, how? Yeah. Most of the people that utilize the space are actually working uh, standard nine to fives or they're entrepreneurs. Uh, they're either starting their own businesses or they're looking to uh, continue with the job that they do now. We have about 327 members here at this location and we have expanded rapidly throughout three years being here at 1647. So we're now making an impact in multiple cities around the country, which includes Los Angeles, St. Louis. Uh, our founder, Emil Camry, is actually up in Milwaukee right now. Uh, and we also are outside of the country in Haiti as well. It was truly amazing to have the Cuban ambassador celebrate and participate in the activities at Blue 1647. What we're seeing with Blue 1647 is we're becoming more of a global brand, an opportunity for people to see the great work that we do in addressing the needs of the community. And these are global issues. These are issues of how to give people opportunity and access, how to provide business transparency and opportunities for folks to be able to generate revenue in other markets. And as we move forward and seeing the growth of an organization as we are in Haiti and other places, we truly see that our value to the outside community is being able to spread and evangelize technology, innovation, and entrepreneurship in all places all across the globe.